Today, I'm going to be here with a piano. The piano, the piano. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you the notes. If you want to do piano, and if you're a beginner on piano, and if you want to learn, then I'm going to be helping you for beginners. So, I will teach you the notes, how to keep your hand position, back position, and maybe at the end I might just show you something that I can play and I'll be telling you what books you need and don't need. So, first, let's start with your hand position. So, your hand position has to be like that. So it has to be like this. Like, for example, um, you know when you're playing like ping pong or something, the, um, you could, those little balls. Feel it, imagine you're holding a little ping pong ball, you're like this, and then you have to stay straight like, like that. Not like this, or like that, straight. And, so, and usually, when you're playing, you sometimes take your hand off the keys for a second because it looks nicer like, like this, not always like, like on the keys. Um, and your arm has to also be straight and your back position. Let's go to back position. Your back position has to be very straight, not like slouch down like that. And you've got to take a normal chair, um, not a normal chair, a piano stool like this one. My one, a piano stool. And you've got to stay straight, back straight like this and then stop and then your neck also has to be straight but also you have got to um not like really move that much because then if you move you might like not focus that much because i have piano lessons and sometimes i start moving then i don't really focus so like maybe you should start um sit like still and yeah, your back straight and hands straight. Also, for the piano stool, some piano stools can be low, like some can be like there, some can be higher, but um, that suits you and your piano. So my piano is like this. It doesn't touch my thighs yet, so my legs, um, because my piano stool is the right size for it. If it was high, because you can put it higher and lower, if it was lower it wouldn't be that good because it would be harder and I'd have to stay like really straight, I might even have to stand up. So yeah, so, um, take a piano stool that suits your like a height as a piano and now I'll be teaching you the notes. So, so before I tell you the notes, these are also some books that you might need necessarily might find necessary these are music manuscript books what they are are um they are like pentagrams these things the five lines are called pentagrams we'll get to that soon and there are 12 pentagrams and i have piano lessons i use these for homework and you know homework like stuff like that but also um I'll just show you this one because it has more space in it. This one, um, you could also like do the notes and stuff so you can memorize. It's not really um, that much that you would need it, but it would be quite necessarily. And yeah, well, before I go into the notes, there's also something called bass clef. Well, bass clef is like after treble clef. What we'll be doing is treble clef. So, these are called manuscript. an elementary instruction book for the piano for. This is basically a book with songs inside and um, it's a book with songs inside and um, little exercises that you can play and it's really nice. Um, when I finish the video I'm going to play one for you guys just for fun. So basically you have Notes. So let's start with the piano and then I'll show you on this thing.
on the book. <laughs> so, you always start at doll. This is doll, which is C. It would also be helpful if you write the actual notes on the top like I did, because then you can actually know which note is which. Because like, if you're confused on what's doll, what's doll, you don't just sit them like wasting ten minutes just figuring out which one's doll. Just look at like a model of a piano with the notes on, and then you can see and write them. Like this is doll. So doll is C. So C stands for doll. D stands for rare. E stands for me. F stands for fa. G stands for sol. And A stands for la. And B stands for C. So it goes like this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it stops and then goes again A, B, C. Like, yeah. So, so basically, guys, the notes are Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. I think there are um, about, around about eight notes. And if you do like uh, five spaces and four um, spaces, no, yeah, it was I got it wrong the first time. Five lines in five spaces. These are the it for the five lines in um four spaces. It starts at me. So it goes. Five lines are me, sol, si, re, fa, and it ends at fa. Four spaces are fa, la, do, mi, and it ends at me. So it's uh, um piano is a really good um instrument. They have really good tunes, and now I'll be showing you this. So what I've just told you is um, mi sol si re fa and fa la do mi. Today I'm just going to be teaching you up to here because all these are not elementary, and this is elementary. But and that's all because like you you guys who are watching this are beginnings beginners yeah so this is the first part it's a treble clef a treble clef is this that's basically this shape so i know how to draw it well of course i do so and there are also um semi quavers quavers crouchets minims and semi brewers. We'll get to those in a second, but these are all the notes, uh, even um, above elementary, and they all have names and numbers. Well, they don't um, really have any numbers, but like your fingers have to be numbered. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and then on the thing, um, let's say here, it says three. So you put it on dot and then you play three. You play with finger three. Yeah, that's two and three. <laughs> so yeah. Now I'll be showing you what semi quavers are and quavers and yeah, those things. <laughs> so let's go. Does it say on here? No. Okay. Oh, and you know all these black things? They are sharps. So let's say G sharp. G says that there so uh, like a hashtag sign you guys know a hashtag sign is like sharp so yeah and um a b sort of sign is a flat so let me show you these are only with one hand and then it's with two hands here so i'll show you what a crouch it is and then we'll get to the bigger ones a crouch it is a little one with a black dot inside so it's got a line and a black dot just like that and that is two beats so if we were doing uh like if we were explaining the notes we'd be like this do ah oh. that's a crouch do ah oh. so two beats one two next is i'll just do a semi 
Seven rivers are the biggest ones. They go like this. They're not always dog, but they can be anything. So like me, e, 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 e. So that takes up about four beats. Well, pretty much four or six or something. And then I'll show you these ones. These ones who are, have black on the outside but are white inside are called minims. They are, they four beats like da, a, 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 and then that's that. But as you can see, it's dotted. We won't be doing that now um, because it's like for more over the elementary. Because like I'm round about, I'm probably here. I am here, so I actually know all like all the notes. So if it's dotted, it take a uh, like it goes one more. So if it was a dotted quartet, it would be da a a, and then so it goes three beats da a a. So now we'll move on to I've done crouchets, quaver I've done crouchets, semi breathers and minims, quavers and semi quavers. We'll start with quavers. Quavers are little ones that either that either are like with a line on the bottom or on the top and connected or they look like that. So it looks kind it looks like if you draw a cube but like a cube backwards so like yeah that's like it and yeah so those are quavers let me see if I can find any semi quavers um, I think it's probably about here somewhere hmm don't know if I, there are any semi quavers I'll look for here. here we go here's semi quavers wow it's tricky Actually, it doesn't look that tricky, but anyway, these are semi quavers. It's when you do like, it's when it goes really fast, like it's got, when it goes fast, and if you were explaining it, it would be like this: da me, and so it's two. So if you were explaining it, you would say two notes, but you're. Oh, your hand would be down, and then after two notes, your hand would be up. That's called solfeggio, but I don't know if you guys would learn that. But, yeah. So, these are towards the end. But, yeah. So, as you can see, it's up to sol. So, sol, la, si, do, re, mi, fa, sol. That's it. Um, hmm. There are also rests. Rests. I could actually show you rests. I've done rests in my homework thingy. Um, here are rests. Rest. Semi previous rests are on the one, two, three, below the fourth line. So here's the fourth line. A uh, semi-breathing rest would be there. So a rest is basically when you go, um, you go, rest, you take your hands off, but not like this, but like you just, like stop playing the note, and then you go back. And then here is a minim rest. A minim rest is a, um, on the third line above the third line so here's the third line this is the minimum rest a crouch at rest looks like a snake it goes like zag 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 it starts at the fourth line and it goes zag zag zig zag zig <laughs> and then it ends at the first line then a quaver rest is kind of like a backwards five as you can see it looks like a backwards five so da Done. So just like that. All right. So is there anything else I've got to explain? So guys, I have finished explaining you. Now I think for a fun ending, I'm going to play something for you. I'm going to play this whole page thingy. 
so it, I think I'm the best played at that because like it's really cool and I like it and um, but it's it the position is not at bar it is at me so it goes at me and then the other me are you ready guys to listen okay. So guys, I played the whole entire page, like this one is like the hardest because look how many notes there is, lots of notes, and they're crouches, so you have to play it fast like this. And blah blah blah. <laughs> so, what I wanted to tell you is also, if you have a keyboard, there's probably not this, but if you have a, like a piano like me, there are pedals. The first pedal make holds the sound. Like for example, if I play da, I'm not. I'm, it's holding the sound. The second one makes the sound more stronger. The third one makes the sound sweeter. Like not. It makes it. This one makes it stronger, so if I'm not pressing it, if I press it, and this one holds the sound, so, and then when I press it, so guys, that was it. I know this is quite a long video, but I hope you guys learned what you wanted, and thank you guys for watching. Bye!